Welcome back to the Guilao 60 channel. Today we're going to be talking about how Taiwan is being taken advantage of by the Americans. And uh, I'm probably gonna take it on the chin and the trolls are gonna come flying out of the woodworks. You know, the faceless trolls that you know, we all know, we've seen them on, on this channel and many other uh, pro-China channels uh, throughout the, the last number of years. But you see, the Americans are taking advantage of Taiwan. They're selling them billions of dollars worth of arms to defend themselves against China. Okay, well that's that's good. It's you know, the the Americans are making billions of dollars off Taiwan and uh, the government of Taiwan is uh, paying this to defend themselves. All right. Who's who's benefiting? Well, the Americans are of course because it it uh, it fuels their their military industrial complex and and basically uh, that's a plus for the Americans and and that's one of the things that they've been doing name one country that's benefited uh, with a relationship with the Americans just name one country over the last hundred years that has benefited from a relationship with with the Americans now the Americans are saying well you know Taiwan uh, TSMC is a company that does make semiconductors. Everybody knows that, and uh, they're the leading semiconductor company in the entire world. They are head and shoulders above the rest. Oh, you like my background? It's sort of nice. Eh? They're they're head and shoulders above the rest, and uh, the Americans figure that if China takes Taiwan, well, then. Uh, all of this technology goes to the Chinese and the Chinese government. Well, okay, well, that's, that's, that's good. So what they say is, well, diversify. Di diversify and, and bring all that technology onto American soil. You know where I'm going with this, guys, don't you? It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this stuff out. So I wonder how much Tsai is getting paid by the Americans to turn her back on the people of Taiwan and the people of China. Anyway, so uh, they're investing $40 billion in Arizona. In Arizona. Yeah, there is a technological uh, center of the world, I tell you. I spent a lot of time in Arizona and, uh, you know, it is, uh, it's about as backwards of a, of a state as you, as you can find. And that, that's just the way of it. Maybe, maybe uh, Metro Phoenix is a, is a little bit, no, it's still a backwards. It's, it's like the hillbilly area of, of the Western uh, United States, Southern United States. Anyway, so as, as Taiwan invests $40 billion into America. They're t sending all of that technology into the United States. And that's what the Americans want. They, they don't give a rat's ass about Taiwan. Right? They don't give a rat's ass about the Taiwan people. What they want is they want that technology because if that technology falls into the hands of the Chinese mainland China, uh, the, the CPC, then uh, the Americans lose it. And that just gives China a little bit more of a step up in in uh, in competing in that area economically. Okay, well, the, the, again, that's that's great and that's good. So you you look at the history of the Americans, and let's let's look at the Ukraine conflict right now. Well, they're backing the Ukraine with with lots and lots of weapons. They're not putting boots on the ground, planes in the air. They're, they're not putting ships in the Black Sea. But they'll, 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 get, they'll, they'll send weapons over. And who's paying for these weapons? Well, the United States is. But the United States has seized $600 billion worth of Russian assets. And that's the de-dollarization start. But that's, that's, for, that's for another video. Uh, and so they'll probably throw in about 600 billion dollars worth of uh, military and indu military industrial complex uh, uh, investment into the Ukraine to, to help them fight against the Russians and uh, when the Ukraine falls the Americans will just keep that 600 billion dollars and say well we got paid for it you know it's, 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 it's good for business because they didn't put boots on the ground and planes in the air and uh, ships in the Black Sea, well, you, you can understand that they won't fight against Russia to help the Ukrainians because they can't export the breadbasket 
and and that's what the Ukraine is 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 a bread bread basket. It, they, they grow a lot of food, they grow a lot of grains and whatever, and it's shipped to, to areas all around uh, Eastern and Western Europe. All right, a lot of pipelines go through there too, but. You know what I mean. So, so they can't. So they can't export that to the United States. If they could export that to the United States, well, maybe they'd put up a little bit more of a scrap and and try to try to save the Ukraine a little bit more. But no, 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 no. That's that's too much. Okay. So if they're not going to fight boots on the ground, planes in the air, and and ships in the Black Sea, uh, what makes you think? And, and they're only fighting against the Russians, which is a smaller military than, than China. Uh, they don't have the funds. They don't have the, the, the military equipment like China does. They don't have two million uh, People's Liberation Army troops to, to back them up. They have a hard time recruiting people in Russia to go fight in the Ukraine, which, which you know, I can understand that. I wouldn't want to be going fighting anybody either you know as, as far as that goes but China's different because Taiwan is part of China the Chinese people will fight for that if they have to to you know and uh, whatever the Americans do uh, I, but you see the Americans aren't going to do anything about it if, if China decides to do that anyway because they'll have the technology that's all that they, they wanted out of Taiwan they wanted the semiconductor technology and uh, once it's in Arizona well they have no reason to defend Taiwan and uh, sure they'll sound, sell them a bunch of uh, military equipment but uh, they, they won't put boots on the ground. They won't put uh, ships in the in the in the sea, and they and they won't put planes in the air for Taiwan either. So how does that uh, Henry Kissinger uh, comment go? To be a, a foe of America is dangerous, but to be a friend is fatal. And I think that's what you're seeing here, not only with the Ukraine, not only with Afghanistan, not only with, uh, with uh, Iraq, not only with, with uh, Taiwan, not only with, you know, it, it doesn't matter which country or, or province area, when we're talking about Taiwan, is involved with the United States. What they'll do is they'll, they'll go in there and they'll take what they want. They'll, uh, they'll pay off the leaders of, of that particular government and uh, they'll get rich by turning their backs on their people and I think that's exactly what you're seeing here. Taiwan has one really good thing going for it and that's a semiconductor business that they've that they've grown and uh, as I say it's a head and shoulders above anything else in the world out there right now. It's way ahead of China, it's way ahead of the United States, it's way ahead of the European Union. Uh, they've done a really really good job. And they're losing it to the United States because one politician, one political party, has uh, sort of bent over and is taking it, uh, well, you know, taking it and uh, getting paid off, I would imagine, from, from the American government. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to ruin that economy. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Once, as I say, once the Americans have that technology on the ground in the United States, They'll turn their back on Taiwan. They will, and uh, you know, then Taiwan will understand the 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 error of their ways, and uh, they will come back to uh, little bugs everywhere. They they will come back to to China, and I think this is the turning point that will actually bring Taiwan back into the fold, in, into 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 China, and uh, reunite China as one entire country, like it should have been back in 1949 before the Americans got involved with the Seventh Fleet. I think it was the Seventh Fleet that stopped the, the Communists from, from taking Taiwan back at that time. Was it 49? Yeah, I think it was 49. And uh, this, this thing went on for a number of years, decades, because of uh, American interference. And uh, now you're seeing the, the end result of, of all of this. And uh, too bad for Taiwan because uh, uh, they could have brought that technology home with them when they came back to China. Uh, but uh, well, they'll still probably be able to bring it back. But the Americans will have all that technology too now, and uh, not because 
because after Taiwan goes back to China, do you, do you, do you, do you think they're they're going to honor that corporation? Do you, do you think TSMC will be able to keep that technology to themselves or will it go to the American government? Will it have to go to the American government? Will it, will it, will, because now Taiwan will be part of China and China, according to the Americans, is the enemy. So, yeah, you see, you see how it's all going and you see, the, the, the Americans, the, the United States has been built on, uh, on, on thieving, uh, whether it's uh, stealing from Africa or, or colonizing um, different places around the world. It's, this is just another, just another way to steal. Like, what did Trump say? We're in Syria because of the oil. We're, yeah, we're, we're there for the oil. We're in Iraq because of, 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 uh, of what we can take away from it. We're, you know, we're, they, you know, they, 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 they got rid of Muammar Gaddafi because he wanted to set up a, a, another way, monetary policy that was backed by gold. It just keeps going on and on and on, guys. And uh, I don't, I don't think the, the the Taiwan government is that stupid that they don't know it. It's just that uh, it's financially good for the people in government there to take the bribes that the Americans will give them, because they know sooner or later they're going to be going back to China, and uh, I would imagine they've been given. Well, here, you can come to the United States, you'll have millions of dollars in your bank account, you can live like a king, and to hell with those other people. Anyway, that's my opinion. What do you think about this one? Because this, this, is, this is a pretty touchy subject in this day and age. And I can see why, because, you know, a lot of the people in Taiwan are looking at this saying, well, fuck. You know, a lot of people in China are looking at it and saying, well, Geez, you know, the Americans are going, oh, we're going to get this stuff and, and uh, screw everybody else. And that's the way they've been dealing with stuff in the past. And uh, that's the way they'll deal with stuff in the future. And that's why nobody trusts these bastards anymore. Um, so Tsai is, is probably the, the second dumbest politician in the world next to Trudeau. Probably one of, going to be one of the richest ones, too, because the Americans will print money to give her. Oh well. Anyway, that's another video from Greylau60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Push that, push that uh, share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and uh, take a look at my Patreon account. It could use some help. <laughs> All right. Oh, and no beer in my hand today. What's going on? Oh, just a second. I just happen to have one in my pocket. Anyway, till next time. Peace out. Bye now.